from crazy squid patterns. This one's a little mangled. I chased brown trout with it. Long story. To the coolest, easiest scud pattern you've ever tied. Seriously, we're gonna tie this one a little bit. So easy. Ostrichill is probably one of the most versatile materials that you're not using. So in this product spotlight episode, we're not doing a new product. We're doing an old school product. It's Ostrichurl. <laughs> when I sat down to write out some notes for this video, I don't even think I realized how, um, how many nuances ostrich has like there's there's a lot going on and it seems weird to say that but it's just the truth sitting in front of me I've got just like I've got tons of different kinds of ostrich and you have some that's skinny you have some that's super thick long fibered crazy snufflubagus eyelashes he's not imaginary but you never believed me yep and there's literally everything in between, which for versatility as fly tires, that's what we want. All that means is we can use it across more patterns, across more different kinds of patterns from dry flies all the way to squid, like I showed you. Out of context, this may be a little bit of a stretch, but bear with me. You can kind of think of ostrich as the marabou of peacock hurl. I know what I mean in my head. I don't know if you guys are catching it. <laughs> but specifically what I really mean about that are the actual barbels that come off the stem. They're super, super soft. So like, it's like peacock looks like this, you know, the, the, the stems look like this, but the material on them is not soft. This is soft. It's soft, soft material. And when we tie that scud, we're gonna take advantage of it. And if you haven't seen this, it's gonna blow your mind. It's, it's so easy, so easy. Okay, so now let's talk shape. Not all ostrich is exactly the same shape. It varies widely. You can have some longer fibered feathers that are tapered really well, meaning they get pretty pointy toward the end. And then you can have some, and then you can have some that don't really taper much at all. They just stay pretty wide all the way through each plume, each stem. Ostrich and peacock is kind of weird because they have the main stem and then each has its own stem as well. And then you can have some that has very little fluff at all, like this is super fluffy, whereas this is super skinny and very, very tapered, all, all the way to a point at the very end. So what do you tie with all these different shapes and sizes? So first of all, the ones with the sharp point that aren't as fluffy, I lean toward tails on streamers quite a bit and, and wings on streamers as well. Just kind of depends on what you're tying. The large ones now, don't get me wrong, they can be tied in a tail as well. It's just, when I think of a tail, I think of taper and this, these in particular, don't taper real well. So I wouldn't personally use these so much in a tail unless it was something big, but where this shines is in the nymphs. These are the longer barbels off of the secondary stem. Like I said, they're super soft and they do so well on like scud patterns, sow bug patterns and, and um, little mayfly patterns and stuff like that. So I think more nymphs here, more streamers here, intruders, stuff like that. And this is just a happy medium. This is, this is a great combination of both of those put together. You can go ahead and tie smaller nymphs with it. You can tie these in for a tail on a, on a medium to large streamer. If I'm walking into a fly shop and looking for ostrich for the first time ever, this is the one I'm gonna buy, just period. You get more use out of it and you'll get used to the material. Now colors, I, I you, you guys have seen pretty much all the colors I've got here. Yeah, 
I recently just got off of Feathercraft's site and they had 25 different colors of all different kinds of ostrich hurl in stock. And that's not including stuff that's out of stock. So let's jump in and tie a clouser real quick and I'll show you what I mean. I already have a pair of Montana Fly Company sparkle eyes on here. These are size medium. Next I'm going to tie in several of the tapered ostrich roll. I'm going to make this just a little bit longer than the tail. So with the clouser, we wanted this taper on the tail to come out of the tails because you don't want you don't want something like this coming out of a clouser tail. That's just that doesn't work out very well. It's just not a not a taper. There's no taper there. So we tied in at the base and used the whole feather or as much as we needed to to create a little bit more movement in the tail of a clouser. On the other side of the coin, we're gonna tie a scud out of this. And everybody has seen these super, super cool scuds that, that you know people put beads on and, and then they put a bunch of UV resin on them and stuff like that. You've seen these pictures of these things and they are beautiful. I mean, tell me I'm wrong. But what you don't know is they are super, super easy to tie. And we're gonna jump in right now and tie this thing. It, so, so easy. I'm gonna start off with a Mustad Curve Caddis hook in the vise. This is a size 10. You can tie this down to size 16. I'm going to add some 010 lead wire and a touch of super glue on it. Next, I'm going to tie in some medium amber vinyl rib. And then one ostrich earl. We're going to tie this in from the tip. Now we're going to palm over the ostrich hurl, but we want it to land in between the wraps of vinyl rib. So, taking our time here. So what we're going to do is wet our fingers really well and just pull these materials straight down. Whip finish. Now we're going to take some Loon UV Thick and coat the top of the fly. Work it around with a bodkin if you need to. flip it upside down and then I just stick my torch right underneath it and cure it while it's sitting there hands free so guys thanks for sticking around to the end of the video we're getting ready to do our giveaway but I just wanted to thank you for already making this product spotlight series a, a big success this is really really cool I'm having a lot of fun with it and like I said, I'm going to go from new products to old products to everything in between. So we're going to cover, I'm not going to say every single fly tying product known to man, but I mean, we're going to give it a damn good shot. <laughs> Again, thanks for sticking around to the end of the video. Now we're going to give away the material from the previous video and maybe a fly. Okay, definitely a fly. This is not a selling point, but Barnman73, who is a member of the channel, you win. Little info on memberships. Uh, we have three different levels. You can pick from one to the top. The top tier gets the, f the fly that I tie every month and, and product samples and just different things every once in a while and sneak peeks at all the videos. The second tier gets sneak peeks at all the videos and like so much off on fly drops and, and stuff like that and then and then there's a good show of confidence and a, and a nice little 
for the bronze level. I don't, I don't know. I don't know what that. <laughs> anyway, Barnman73, get with me on Instagram or shoot me an email and I'll get some stuff out to you. For your chance to win the, probably the clouds are in scud in this video, like the video, subscribe to the channel. I don't know what to do with that thumb. And comment on this video. And I'll have the random number generator, pick a random number, pick a random comment, and then we'll, we'll send you something. So, yeah.